Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Again, I want to thank everyone out there for supporting the channel. If you guys do like the content, if you guys do like the video series, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And if you are a subscriber, make sure to hit that bell button to get alerts and updates on all new content posted on the channel. For today's video, I thought I would jump into a number of stocks that have upcoming exhibit dates this next week. All stocks that can be utilized in a dividend capture, swing trade type of strategy. I've done a number of these videos in the past. I typically try to do at least one of these per week, if not a few per month. The one big drawback a lot of viewers on the channel have been wondering about is tax exposure. Yes, this is much higher with regards to tax exposure, short-term capital gains, and the dividends are not qualified if you jump into the stock before the exit dividend date and then sell off that next week or that next uh, week after that. You definitely will have higher tax exposure but I utilize this strategy in capital that I have sitting in the portfolio that's not tied up into longer term buy and hold stocks. The other part about this strategy that I've discussed on my prior videos as well, I only do stocks like this that are very good buy and hold stocks as well. So if you jump into a stock, qualify for the dividend, but then the stock price starts trending down, you can't get out of the trade in a positive swing trade. You can always hold these stocks for the longer term because like I said, these are very good long term buy and hold stocks and you can pick up a very nice dividend as well. Well, there's a number of stocks I'll discuss today. A couple I have in the portfolio, uh, related companies, Abbott Laboratories and Abbey Incorporated uh, were the same company. They kind of split off the healthcare services part, split off from the pharmaceutical part. Then I have one consumer staple stock that I think may be a very good contrarian investment, although we may have missed the opportunity for a very good return on that. And then another stock that has a special dividend as well as the quarterly dividend coming up. So let's jump into the stocks here. The first one, as you can see up on screen, is Abbott Laboratories. You can see on the bottom here, I have a number of shares, 46, equity value, 28.59.36. I've had this stock for quite some time, as you can see from the dividend payments on the bottom of the screen here. A very good healthcare services company. You can see the market cap there, very large, 108.98 billion. A good PE ratio for this particular a stock. Not quite sure why it's showing at 241.304. On the Robinhood platform, I think it's closer to 29. Uh, not quite sure about that, uh, why it's showing this way. Some of the stats on this particular part of the application are not always correct. So definitely take a look at other sources, compare these against other sources for the correct stats. And the dividend yield, as you can see on the bottom there, 1.884%. I believe the next dividend yield will be around 2.3% for this particular trade. The ex dividend date is on the 12th of July, 712, payment date 815, 28 cents per share. And there's also the offshoot company, Avi Incorporated, ABBV. Like I said, this was part of the same company with Abbott Laboratories. This is the pharmaceutical offshoot. This also has an exit dividend date on 712, payment date as well on 815, 96 cents per share for dividend yield, just over 4%. You can see I've had this stock in the portfolio for quite some time as well with a very good dividend payment on the bottom, as you can see here. D definitely have been adding to my capital. That's what accounts for that increase in the dividend payments on the bottom of the screen. Just like Abbott Laboratories, a very big company, 153.79 billion for the market cap. PE ratio here showing correctly, 24.417. Dividend yield, last dividend payment, 2.72, but like I said, it's currently 4%. We take a look at the price of the stock over the past one year up 40%, 39.52%. For the past five years, 168.63. If we go back to Abbott Laboratories, you can also see over the last one year of trading, 30.97%, 31% in the green, and over the past five years, 98.29%. So, very good companies, Abbott Laboratories, ABT, as well as Abbey Incorporated, ABBV, healthcare services, and pharmaceutical companies. Very good for buy and hold investors, and I think a very good candidate for dividend capture, swing trade type of strategy as well. The next stock is the Contrarian Play Campbell Soup CBP. This is a consumer staple stock. If you take a look at the bottom here, this is a company that's engaged in the manufacturing, marketing of convenience foods products. You can see a number of different uh, business segments on the bottom there. You can see in the middle here, large company, 12.62 billion, but much smaller than the pharmaceutical companies I've talked about, ABT and ABBV, Abbott Laboratories and Abbey Incorporated. PE ratio 26.365, dividend yield 2.6 on the last dividend payment. The upcoming dividend payment will be 3.4%. If we take a look at the graph up on top, all of the consumer staples have been down. We can see that graph here, five years. You can see it's only up 6.15%. At one point here, 
You can see it was down 15, 16% or so from a high five years ago. Over the one year, you can see not very good performance here, 16.45% in the red. But you can see here, uh, missed opportunity possibly for getting the uh, uh, buying on the dip here, down 33, 34% at one point. Has been trending up very nicely over the past one month of trading, as you can see here, 24.77%. But I still think this may be a very good contrarian play, especially if you take a look at the one year and five year graphs. I think there's a lot of upward potential with this company, but in the entire segment, consumer staples as a whole have been down quite a bit. I've detailed this on prior videos, Procter & Gamble, uh, some of the other stocks I hold. Important dates for Campbell Soup. Exhibit date will be 712, payment date 730, 35 cents per share for dividend yield just over 3.4%. So this is a contrarian play, but again, I think this is a very good buy and hold stock and also very amenable to dividend capture swing trading as well. The last stock here, Cracker Barrel CBRL, another stock I've detailed quite a bit on the channel. Take a look at the one year graft, 1.26% with a lot of up and down volatility, but over the last five years, 97.29%. A very good performance over that uh, five-year graph. In the middle here, statistics, you can see it's a large company, 3.81 billion, but the smaller of the three that we're detailing today, or the four we're detailing today, PE ratio, 15.924. Great dividend yield on the last dividend payment, 5.24%. The upcoming dividend payment, or two dividend payments that will be paid out, quarterly dividend of $1.25 per share, X dividend date, 712, as well as a special dividend, of 3.75, also X dividend date on 712, so a total dividend of $5. The payment dates will be a little bit different. The $1.25 quarterly dividend will be paid out on August 6th, while the special dividend of $3.75 will be paid out on uh, August 3rd. So overall, about a 7% dividend payment for this particular company, Cracker Barrel. And just a detail on the bottom what exactly this company is. Some of you may not be familiar, but this is kind of a theme type of store. You can see on the bottom there, Cracker Barrel, old country store brand, uh, kind of a theme restaurant. I've actually eaten at one of these restaurants and it's basically a bunch of old antiques, uh, other things on the wall. And the style of cooking is sort of like a country buffet type of uh, menu. Very popular within the Midwest states. I think down south, um, maybe a little bit up into the Northeast as well. But a very strong company, and again, over the five-year graft, a very profitable company, 97.29% in the green. So special dividend with Cracker Barrel, CBRL, two dividends, $1.25, and a special dividend of $3.75, $5 total. Um, contrarian Play, Campbell Soup, CBP, and then the two stocks I have in my portfolio, Abbott Laboratories and Avi, I think are probably the best stocks for a buy and hold, but all three of these stocks can be utilized in a shorter term, dividend capture swing trade type of strategy, but also a very good buy and hold stock as well. All three, all four of these stocks, very good buy and hold stocks as well. So let me know what you guys think about these picks. If there are any that jump out to you, unfortunately, they all have the same exhibit date. So you'll have to choose exactly which one of these stocks that you will jump into. I think I'm probably going to be adding a little bit of capital to ABBV. I do like that stock over the longer term, but I'll be doing it in a dividend capture swing trade type of strategy. If I can put some money in and then get out of the stock, capture the dividend, I'll probably do that even considering the tax consequences. Otherwise, I think Cracker Barrel CBRL is another stock I would like to add to the portfolio. So I also may put a little bit of capital into that stock as well. But again, let me know what you guys think. And not to make the video too long, I'll kind of end it here. Again, if you guys have any great video ideas, please let me know. Always looking for new topics to research. And if you guys do like the content on the channel, if you guys like the video series, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And again, not to make the video too long, I'll kind of end it here and we'll see you guys next time.